Becca! Oh, you're right. You're right here. Hey, the drywall's done. Yeah. 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 What looks, do you think? It looks good. I mean, definitely better than it was. I don't know why it took you so long. It only took me like three weeks. What are you talking about? Yeah, three weeks of drywall mud and dust everywhere. Whatever. Okay, so now it's time to start mudding and taping this stuff. So I went around and tried to go ahead and put one coat around some of the outlets that I got a little squirrely on and uh, we're gonna make them look a little bit better with more and more coats, but we're gonna go ahead and start by checking that the screw heads are not poking out past the paper like that one seems to be. Uh, we're gonna do that by taking this knife here and uh, just running it across like that one. That one's probably that paper right there. And uh, just checking them to make sure that they are below flush with the drywall. Now I'm gonna go around and uh, sand just the drywall just because there's some spots where the paper kind of peeled back. Some of this drywall was left over from a farmhouse build, so the Perkins gave it to me to use. Uh, some of it's a little beat up, but I just want to make sure I got a nice smooth surface to start out with. Some of you guys have probably experienced remodeling your own home while living in it. And some of you guys probably haven't, but it's been a blast, right? Oh my gosh, so much fun. Every day is like, a surprise and a new adventure. A surprise for you? For me. For me. <laughs> I don't I never know what I'm gonna walk into when I get home from work. Now let the mudding and taping begin. mud that I'm using, well this stuff here came from Jamie's. There's he gave it to me months ago. There's no telling how old it was. I started out using it and uh, it's pretty runny. This stuff here, this is what I'm gonna switch to. Uh, this stuff is left over from the farmhouse and it's much thicker. So I'm gonna go with that. Also made me a hawk uh, because I don't feel like spending 30 bucks to buy one. So let's try this again. Here's everything with two coats. I'm probably gonna let this dry for a while and then give it all a quick sand because it's starting to get a little bumpy. Um, I've only done this once before, but never, never to this extent, so. You better be done soon. All right, today is the day we're gonna finish the drywall. So I had to run to Lowe's and I got a few things. One, I got this textured uh, drywall hopper gun for my knockdown ceilings. Um, I got a bucket of primer, paint tray, and some 45 minute quick set just to mix in with some of the stuff that I have right now that is not very hard. So we're gonna see how that works out and uh, hopefully we get it all done today. What's been your favorite part? Um, the constant cleaning after you. I think that's been my favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, whether it's sawdust or nails or screws on the ground or drywall dust. I mean, I have so many things I get to clean. You're welcome. Thanks. Becca's not here today. She took my dog, but not my truck this time. And uh, she's actually going to visit some friends and doing a little short hike. So that means I've got the house to myself. So let's show off this guy right here. So this is a DeWalt HEPA uh, vacuum and it is FlexVolt, so it operates on a battery. We also have a battery operated sander. So that's gonna come in key uh, because I'm gonna need to sand all this stuff down and I don't wanna get stuff all over Becca's everything in here. Okay, so real quick, this is not the final coat. 
This is actually second coat. Um, and I am just giving it a quick sand. I just want a smooth spot to kind of put my mud back on the last layer, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see. So I did end up getting a real hawk uh, because my makeshift one just wasn't doing it for me. And I ended up finding this at Lowe's for about half the price. So previously I was looking at Ace Hardware. All right, let's get this done. Well, probably not today, but uh, it'll be done by the end of this video. All right, phase one is done. I've got one coat on all of the wall and well, actually that's a third coat and two coats on part of the ceiling. And uh, I think I need a break, but I need to sit down. Do I sit down on Becca's furniture? To be determined. I mean, I don't think Becca would be too mad. Oh crap, Becca's home. Oh, hey. Oh my gosh, you are covered. Uh, Get out of that Oh, sandwich. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I think everything has been sitting long enough so that I can start sanding. Well, the walls at least, the ceiling, uh, it's still drying. As you can see, there's a few dark spots still, but uh, we'll get to that later. I mean, overall, I'm pretty impressed with how the walls turned out. Now, I did go around and just patch up a couple spots, like under this window, um, just because I want to make sure that whatever trim I put on will actually cover any defects. So I did the same thing over here. Went around this outlet again. Um, so anything that stuck out to me, I just went ahead and hit again. So what's your favorite part? Uh, I think my favorite part is just the fact that it's just never ending. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like I get to work on it forever. But yeah. Today is the day. No, I'm, I'm being serious. Today is the day. Everything is dry on the ceilings and the corners. I'm going to sand it all really quick, go over any imperfections, test it all out for smoothness and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully we'll be ready here soon to add some texture to the ceilings. Okay, now I'm gonna go around with the headlamp and do the corners and uh, anything else that can't be reached with the regular sander. All right, I'm gonna say we're ready to spray some knockdown. So let's get started into that. Well, at least let's um, try to figure out how to do it. So you might be wondering why we aren't drywalling this section here. And the reason being is because, I mean, I'm going to put a full sheet across here, but this is where our current main kind of kitchen is. And I don't want to do anything with this section until I'm ready to move this over here. And once I do that, then I will drywall all of this and get all of this framed out and it'll all look nice. Well, the jury is still out as far as whether or not it will look nice, but I mean, that's the plan at least. So I've never sprayed knockdown before. Uh, I've never used one of these hopper guns before. Um, but I was out here trying to play around with this a little bit to try to get uh, what I think is going to be sufficient for the knockdown. And I think I got the settings dialed in pretty good. Um, we're gonna let this dry a little bit just so that when I go to uh, knock it down It won't just completely scrape everything off. So we'll give that I don't know 10 minutes or so and come back and see how it looks My test kind of failed. Um, the texture part didn't fail. What failed is I gave it about 15 minutes and Decided to go ahead and try to knock it down and it wasn't dry enough. So 
I'm not worried about the texture. I know that that's gonna be good. Like I said, I gave it about 15, maybe even 20 minutes and it still wasn't dry. So that means that I can spray this entire ceiling and not worry about it setting up on me. So we're just gonna go for it and hope that everything works out. We'll see. So you can probably hear the compressor in the background. I am having to take breaks because this thing releases the air continuously and my uh, compressor can't really keep up, but this is what I got going on right now. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so we're just gonna keep rolling. Over here, this was my first attempt at Texturing the ceiling even after trying to knock it down. It looks like Crap in my opinion uh, But then I decided to put it on a little heavier and uh, This is what I turned out with on this side. So I'm just gonna go back around and I already got this row done I'm gonna do this row kind of take it a little bit slower and then this row and do it again and see what happens Uh, don't kill me. I'm gonna work very hard not to. Okay, everything is sprayed and everything is knocked down, but one thing that I am doing uh, is, you know, it's been probably about an hour since this was sprayed, and I'm just taking my knife and knocking it down even further. Meanwhile. Important work is happening over here. <laughs> apparently. Okay, well, you probably can't really see this, but this is how the knockdown turned out, which I'm pretty happy with. I did kind of go around and circle a few spots like this one uh, that it was a little too heavy and it ended up being a big blob of knockdown. And uh, like that there, that was kind of a trowel mark or something like that. So there's a couple spots that I'm gonna sand down and then reattempt to apply some knockdown. We'll let it dry for a little bit and hopefully we can start putting a coat of primer on all of this. Becca! Yeah! Um, I may have made a little mess. I mean, I didn't get it everywhere. Just just like over here or some. Yeah, no, I, I do think there's some sections of the paneling you may have missed. So you're right, it's not everywhere. <laughs> and yes, you guys may have noticed that I decided not to uh, put tape or plastic on the walls. The reason being is because I would have had to have traveled all the way to Lowe's because it was Sunday whenever I originally did this and Lowe's is about 45 minutes away, so I didn't really want to do that. And I figured, you know what? I could probably spend 20 minutes just sanding all this off, so. Now it is time put the primer on the wall. So this is kind of gonna be the moment of truth as far as like how does everything look with a fresh coat of paint. So that's pretty exciting, or not, depending on how well I mud and tape this place, uh, but we'll find out. That's the whole point. I guess the good thing is, is that we've got unlimited content for videos. Yeah, that's true. You'll never have to look for something. Ever. But will I have a kitchen by Thanksgiving? Wait, what was my original deadline? I don't even remember, but right now it's Thanksgiving. Okay. Do I have the answer? So, 
in closing, I guess what we hope to do is just to be a huge encouragement to all you guys. Yeah, if we can do it, you can do it. Well, technically, me and Jason are doing all the work. If they can do it, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs>